Hey Blinkers, my name is Maria and in previous video we learned how to connect a device to Blink using Quick Start. This resulted in a new template created in your Blink account. Today we will dive deeper into what template is, how to edit a template and how to create a device using template. So what is template? Basically it's a high level configuration that can be copied to multiple devices of the same kind. It's where you define what data gets sent between your device and the cloud and what should be in your device dashboard on mobile and on web, and other critical things. Templates has lots of settings, but today we will focus only on the main ones, just to get you started. General settings contain essentials, like template name, hardware model, connectivity type, and unique template ID. Data streams define which data and in which format will be sent to and from your device. For example, if you are using temperature sensor, the temperature data will be stored in data stream. Once created, data streams are used in widgets on mobile and on web. And dashboard. Dashboard is a visual interface where you will be interacting with your device. Dashboards are made of widgets. With Blink, you can build two different dashboards, one for the web browser and one for the mobile app. Now that you better understand what are the main elements of the templates, let's take a closer look at the template created during Quick Start. All of your templates can be found here, in Templates tab. Here is our Quick Start template. Click Edit, and now we are editing the template. Hardware and connectivity are correct. I'll continue using the ESP8266 I have. And here is a template ID we used in the code. Also on this page, you can find the code snippet for your hardware sketch. So here is our code snippet. And we'll save the metadata and events section for our next tutorials. Now let's check out data stream tab. Data streams are used to store data from device or to send data to device. Here you can see four different data streams used in quick start example. They were created for demo purpose, but when you continue building your own device, you will need to set up a data stream for it. You can edit or delete this data stream, or you can add your own. I will add a new data stream, which will store uh, random numbers from zero to hundred. So let's click on a new data stream and virtual pin. Uh, name it random value from 0 to 100 then create now we can visualize this data stream let's go to the web dashboard so dashboard is a set of widgets to remotely control and monitor your devices you can see three widgets in the quick start template uh, this way added as an example, you can keep them or you can use uh, completely different ones. I will add value label widget uh, and choose the random data stream I just created. Now let's click save and apply these changes to all active devices. This action means that any device that inherits this template will use this new configuration. Now let's edit mobile app dashboard. Open your Blink app and go to developer mode by clicking on tool sign. My templates can be seen here. I'm tapping on my quick start template to edit it. And again, here you see the widgets that were used for quick start. Let's just delete all of them. Uh, I can use drag and drop to delete all widgets. Tap anywhere to open widget box and now let's add value display here to show the random numbers. And tap on widgets to open settings. Now I have to choose my data stream. Uh, this should be a random data stream. And let's position our widgets somewhere in the center. So now our mobile dashboard for this template is ready. Let's update the code to send random values. I will send random values from my device every second. Demo sketch already has timer function ready, so I will only add one line of code. So it's here. 
Uh, now let's flash the code and see the results. So you can see uh, that random values are generated every second in both mobile app and web console. Now I have my own template, which I can use to create as many similar devices as I want. Now that we have a template, let's create a new device from it. I'm in the Blink console and here is my first device. Let's create a second one. Press create new device from template. I will use quick start template and type device name. So device is created and Blink generated all the code details that I need. Because this device will use the same template ID, I will only need to change our token. Wi-Fi credentials stay the same as well. Don't forget that you can always find your OAuth token by clicking on device info tab. So here's my new OAuth token. I just copied it and open uh, my Arduino IDE. And I need to paste new OAuth token here. So let's flash the code. So it's ready. Now you can see that both devices are online and showing some data. What's great about template that you can make any change in a single place and this change will be instantly applied to all the devices made from this template. Let me show you. Uh, let's go to template tab. Here's my quick start template. Let's go to web dashboard, uh, edit, and let's uh, add slider here. Don't forget to save. Continue. Let's check how these changes were applied to my devices. So here in my Blink device from template, here a slider I added and quick start device uh, has it as well. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and stay tuned for more Blink tutorials.